only have one concern. All through, I've been sitting in this house as we went into the committee of the whole house. And I want to be very honest with you. There is no single bill that I had even what was read because it was in a rush and there were members shouting and the bills were passed. And so I'm wondering, as a member of Migori County, if I happen to meet this bill, what will I say? I am speaking out of honesty and I can swear to it while lie be lie. There's nothing that I had and I'm not the only one who didn't hear. I didn't even want to contribute, but I wanted to hear what is being read. What I'm trying to say, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Ichungwa, Mr. Ichungwa, just to be a man, men don't shout back at women. O Please smile and look on at on me as on a speak. Fatuma, Mr. You, Speaker, you always address the speaker and you keep to the standing orders in terms of relevance. You are addressing Rikomito, proposed by Honorable Kajuang. You are not addressing the majority leader. And the majority leader for purposes of uh, decorum in the house is Honorable Ichungwa, not Mr. Ichungwa. Sorry, sorry. Honorable Ichungwa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Through, through the speaker, please accept my apology. Still, you are a minister because you are a decent man anyway. But my point is this, Mr. Speaker. I am a first timer. And I sit in this house so that I learn. What I have learned today, if I was to walk outside and tell my people in Migori County about the bills that passed in the house, I would say the bills are red and the majority say yes. What was red, I don't know, and I'm not the only one who doesn't know. Please, Mr. Speaker, may we behave in a manner that one expects expect us. Mr. Speaker, we are being attacked outside, and today I was attacked on a television, national television, when what I was is being told the majority that leader? we don't speak in... Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Speaker, on standing order 87 again, the Honorable Member for Migori is uh, right in her place to stand and say that she is a new member and she ought to learn. And that is why those of us, like myself and the Honorable Mili, who have been here long enough, and Honorable Kajuang, we have a duty to guide these new members. And the member for Migori was to speak on the recommito by the Honorable TJ Kajuang. Mm. What I have listened her, to her saying, she's not speaking to the recommito, she is telling the people of Migori that she does not know what is happening in the house. And you know, you cannot stand in the house and announce to the people who voted for you that you do not know what is going on. They voted for you because they believed you are the best, among us the best in Migori. Therefore, I would, I would guide you, the member for Migori, please do not tell the people of Migori that a bill was read, you do not know. They expected you to read, understand, contribute, propose amendments. You have not done that. Please do not exhibit that kind of... Uh... <laughs> Speaker, I, I would really beg the member for Migori to contribute to the, to the recommito by the Honorable TJ Kajuang and not Honorable Fatuma, to the people of Migori. Thank you, Majority Leader. Honorable Fatuma, you have one minute to conclude. M Mr. Speaker, I stood on a point of order and I did not even put my card. Mr. Ichungwa, I went to school and for your information, I even went to a school in Italy. You studied locally. I did not say that I do not know what's happening. I only said, and you are part, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Ichungwa is part of the problem that when the bill was being read, he was shouting here and I could not even hear what was being said. But don't come here to intimidate me. The, the, you the represent one constituency. I represent eight constituencies. Fatuma, the, you are the a time minor to me. Fatuma is up. Order. You know, Honorable Mili, because...